Good evening, everyone. Boy, I had a hard time setting this thing up. This was like, this, um, the thing that's hold, the tripod that's holding my camera or my phone is so hard to get anything in. And it just, it's gonna break my phone <laughs> eventually. Anyhow, as you saw in a previous video I uploaded today, um, we went to Dollar Tree out of town. We drove out of town because we got tired of the ones in town not ever having anything. So we did find a lot. And this one was a huge Dollar Tree. It was um, uh, very well uh, organized and, and uh, stocked really well. Um, it didn't have a plus style. I don't know of any around our air, whole area that does. Maybe up in Chicago, I don't know. Um, anyhow, I found the things that I needed and saying things, of course, that I don't need, <laughs> that I wanted. So that's the way it is. Uh, I, I'm not gonna show you stuff like baggies and toilet paper because personally, me personally, I find that very boring. And uh, I would rather see the good stuff. So I, if I have a couple boring stuff in here, I'll pop it up. But I usually don't. I got so much stuff going on. Anyhow, we're going to have Kentucky Fried Chicken after my husband gets home back from where he went, he went to his mother's. And um, yeah, we're going to, I'm pretty sure, have some Kentucky Fried Chicken. With him and I... We don't spend, I mean, spending a lot of money. On, I've seen people spend an enormous amount of money for a, a small amount of people on groceries. I, I mean, most of it they spend, it seems like a lot of people spend a lot of money on processed food. And we do too, but I mean, I don't bake things all the time. <clears throat> um, food, I cook. I don't like to cook. <laughs> I will be the first one to tell you, I don't like to cook. That being said, I still do cook for my husband. So, because he, he, he goes to work, he does his thing and, and I will cook for him. So let's get down to this Dollar Tree haul at this new Dollar Tree. And the first thing I find is stuff that is boring. <laughs> my husband bought these fold up glasses for work. They will be nice to put in his desk whenever they move him over to his desk. He's getting moved into a new office. And I like these Fisher Price baby wipes because when I clean out the litter box, my, my every day I clean uh, Catman's litter box. And um, I use these to wipe the scoop off and everything. So we keep his litter box really clean. And this is what I use. And there are 72 sheets in this. So that'll last a while. Um, I don't want to break this. Um, my magnifying glass. It was so windy here today, it was stormy, and the clouds were crazy. We didn't have thunder or anything. Um, okay, this goes to my husband's, I don't know, something he bought, a pencil holder. <laughs> I got these for taking my makeup off at night, and before I put on my voodoo stuff. Um, oh, I did get this one food item that I forgot in the bag. <laughs> I bought one of these because I already got another one of these. And since, you know, that time of year is coming up, I want to bake some cookies. I think it's close to Thanksgiving. I found some really pretty Christmas ribbon. And I just thought it was gorgeous because I want to make a Christmas wreath, even though I have a ton of them. Maybe it could be for a giveaway. We get to 850, who knows? Or Christmas time, I'll just give away a wreath. 
Anyhow, isn't that pretty? It's white with gold trim and gold in it. I got two of those. So, anyhow. And then I found these that I thought were really cute. And these are tags. And they have, you'll have to excuse my nails, are horrible. Um, aren't they pretty? It's a hat and a snowflake truck. I'm not really into the truck, but here's the trees. But there's 20 of them in here. That's a lot. Well, not a lot. I, I, it's, I know I have some put back from last year somewhere. Got to go through it all. Two sacks down. Oh, I'm excited because I'm going to the sack. And I found this, which I'm going, and it's pretty, this rug. It's green and white, and I'll probably put it, I already have one for outside my door that I ordered from Amazon a couple of years ago. So this one will go in my kitchen. I need to find one of those mats to put under it that they have at the Dollar Tree. And then, I got my husband's stuff down here. I'm a mess. Get this one away. This is one thing that's boring. Uh, it's such a good find, which is the turkey bags. I use these every year to cook our turkey in. Don't let anybody tell you that there's a shortage of turkeys or something. No, they might cost more. But there's not going to be a shortage. So people spreading that little rumor around, they need to stop until they know for sure. I mean, it was supposed to be what a shortage of pumpkins, and it wasn't. There wasn't a shortage of pumpkins. And they said on the news, do not worry, there will be. We don't eat just the chicken breast, we eat the whole turkey. So I'm going to get that for the turkey. And then I found, I got two of the cooking pans. It's the only time I ever buy these. I don't have one big enough for turkey, so I buy these. We only fix turkey once a year. Maybe more or less about it. At Christmas time too, maybe. And my husband found his shelves, as you saw in the store, and he hangs up on his wall. I'm always going to hang it up on because he moves his desk. So we got those. I don't know what actually he's going to hang it up. And last but not least, I'm going to keep these. This oven. You know, I'm running out of places to put. I need to come back here and clean. It's going to start getting busy with all my stuff coming in. And um, I really want to do some crafting. Um, anyhow, I'm going to stuff those sacks down there. Um, I bought Catman. This little dish, it's rubberized on the bottom. We like to change out his dish and wash, put his other dishes that are dirty. Oh, I'm going to break it. Um, in the dishwasher and then use this one. He has a wet cat food bowl and a dry cat food bowl. Catman doesn't like treats. He really, we have yet to find a treat that he likes. He doesn't like him. And the vet said he's 10 to 12 pounds is the perfect weight for the cat. I cat, a normal cat. So, and this is the best thing my husband found for me and him and Catman. It's a magnet. It says you and me and the cat. <laughs> so I'm gonna go put this on my my um, refrigerator. It's so cute. I can't wait to do it. Wash his bowl, and he'll have another bowl to use, or we could, I can switch out and without using our bowls and and stuff like that. But he's antisocial. Since uh, when when we lived down in the other apartment, he pretty much 
would uh, come up on the table, but in here he doesn't, he didn't do it here. But um, anyhow, I hope you're all having a great day. Ours has kind of been a little busy. Um, tomorrow I've got to do laundry and um, I'm slowly but surely getting ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Probably be just me and my husband again because my son and his wife and their family go to Indy and my daughter lives in Indy and her family does. My daughter-in-law's family lives in Indy and, and my other son, he's vacationing down with his wife in Mexico right now. Um, he he will prob they'll probably go up north for Thanksgiving. So it'll just be me and my husband and that's okay. He can help me cook. <laughs> he said he would. And um, anyhow, I want to put my Christmas tree up so bad. I got all my, I have to rearrange all my decorations back here and stuff. And um, I just, uh, we just got to go down the storage room, which is right down the hall to get my Christmas stuff. It's a job. That's why I didn't want to decorate too much for fall because I knew I'd be pulling stuff out for Christmas. And when you think about it, we start putting fall stuff up in September. So we have it up all September, October, and November. And then if we only have our Christmas tree or Christmas stuff up um, one month, now there's like three months. Um, so I don't mind putting it up early, and I think I will. I got a new flocked Christmas tree this year, so I'm excited to see how that goes. I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for the twinkle lights to come in for it. So anyhow, you guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. We're not that far away from uh, 850 where I can do a giveaway, and I would love for you guys to be a part of the giveaway. And I want to thank those who have just joined my channel and desperately tell all you guys who've been with me all this time, thank you. And um, please, oh, I want to give a shout out to Debbie's Random World. She is really hurting for subs and she's looking for them too. So go over and give her a visit. And um, you guys have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.